the last of the roof structure which I will briefly present is a dormer's construction. First I will discuss the elements of which it is built. Here we have a rafter installed together with the other jack rafters, however it is different from the rest in that it is from them wider. It has 14 by 14 cm cross section in this respect that it is carrying a pillar set on it, the one you can see right now. This column in turn will support a Dorner purlin. These three elements are make a triangle shaped frame which will support for common rafters. Now we can see the process of preparing the column. We draw an angle which is the angle of inclination of the roof, so 37 degrees in our case. After cutting the pillar we mount it to the rafters which we have prepared and installed by the way of building the jack rafters. Then as we have just seen by using the level, we set the place where the purlins will be. When we got this can measure its length, so we do and next cut the purlin. As you can see, part of the purlin extends beyond the edge of the door is already painted because it will be a visible element. Here we prepare the roof ridge, it is installed between the volley rafters of the Dorners. Temporarily we stand the pole, which as we have just seen supports the roof ridge, we will remove it afterwards. Dormers have pitched roof, then all rafters are equal. Now you can see how to mount of the front rafters. They are planted and painted in full because they will be visible. So as you can see, the preparation of Dorners is extremely easy. 
two rafters cut in the same manner in which they were cut jack rafters. Next, purlins, valley rafters and rope ridge. And as we can see now, we assembly the common rafters nailed to the purlins. This stage ends with roof structure, it ends in general construction of the building and so on that our course about construction. Thanks a lot for your watching.